do painting. You do light. Certus Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. WCBS News Time 328. Traffic and weather together on the A's here today. Yes, the Staten Island Crossings work and some Hudson River Crossings construction. George Washington Bridge are inbound up here at the one lane block across the span. Lower level looking good for the cars. It's easy pass only. Same with the Palisades approach. You're out on the level of three lanes of blocking across the span. Still not causing delays. Link is on the two closures just out of the center. Two, the hollow zone. One lane block each way. Staten Island Crossings Bay on Bridge a complete shutdown and the Staten Island about out of bridge with a one lane block. Now here's the latest problem. The WCBS Weather Center. Fire Department Cloudy, windy and cold early this morning. Low 39 in Central Park and the wind to make it feel even colder. Later today, remaining windy and cold despite plenty of sunshine. High just 49. Clear, brisk, and cold Thursday night. Low 40. Friday, mostly sunny. Breezy and milder. High 58. Saturday, mostly cloudy and mild with a shower or two around, especially early in the day. High 62. 48. Over at LaGuardia, 30 mile an hour winds over there. And we even have a wind chill factor. It feels like 35 in Waterbury. Or at Cedarboro, Georgia, 45 with 15 mile an hour winds. It is 330. More than just the headlines, this is WCBS News Radio 880. Well, the mystery around the disappearance and presumed death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi laughing going into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul is adding pressure on Saudi Arabia, but Secretary of State Pompeo says they are still allies. After last week's release of an American pastor, Turkey may get some relief now from U.S. sanctions. The leaks now being investigated in relation to the probe into Russia and the Trump campaign in the 2016 election. New evidence come out in the Harvey Weinstein sex assault case that investigators may have hidden evidence in sports. Nick speak the Hawks, Nets lost to the Pistons, Rangers lost to the Capitals, and Islanders lost to the Ducks. Right now, 45 degrees in Central Park, and it's Thursday, October 18th. Good morning, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lee Von Putney, it's 331. CBS News Update. When it comes to the disappearance of missing journalists and Saudi regime critic Jamal Khashoggi, I just don't know why this administration seems to feel the need to cobble uh, autocrats and dictators. Yeah, I, I don't understand. That. Former vice president and possible 2020 presidential contender Joe Biden tells Nora O'Donnell at an interview just to air on CBS this morning what he thinks of President Trump and his handling of the disappearance. I don't want to speculate to my worst fears. But um, either he doesn't know what he's doing, or he has a absolutely convoluted notion of what allows America to lead the world. Republican Senator Joe Kennedy, the toughest foreign policy job of a president is to deal with an authoritarian government uh, that offends American values, uh, but whose interests um, advance our, our foreign policy. It's difficult. CBS News Update. I'm Matt Piper. And after Turkey freed American pastor Andrew Brunson last week, the U.S. now may lift some sanctions against Turkey. Some of the sanctions that were put in place were directly connected uh, to Pastor Brunson. Uh, there's a logic to now removing those as well. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says they'll decide Mike Pompeo! Mike Pompeo! Uh, another federal complaint related to the Russia probe, not about anyone hacking or willing and stealing, but loose lips. Investigators to Robert Mueller and have their lips yet staring at leaks from elsewhere and the pets are cracking down. A senior treasury department official has been charged with sharing confidential government reports. Natalie Meanwhile, Howard Edwards is facing two felonies in Manhattan. She's accused of accessing documents related to key players like Paul Manafort and Red Gates and sharing them with a BuzzFeed reporter. Former federal prosecutor Jennifer Rogers says this shows the government wants to pursue leakers. You know, I have to think that as long as people are kind of getting information out there that's not supposed to be out there, well, we're going to see more of them under this administration. The 40-year-old Edwards told investigators she's a whistleblower. Your head of gold, WCBN News Radio 880. The Manhattan District Attorney's case against former movie producer Harvey Weinstein is in some more trouble. Before handing over her phone to prosecutors, one of Harvey Weinstein's accusers told the lead NYPD detective on the Weinstein case that she had some personal information on her phone that she did not necessarily want prosecutors to see. That detective then advised her to delete whatever she wanted and that he would not tell prosecutors. This information was revealed by the lead prosecutor in the Weinstein case, Joan Olivier Bone, in a letter to 
Weinstein's attorney, Olivia Bones said Weinstein's alleged victims decided not to delete anything, and that the unnamed alleged victim came to prosecutors with the new allegation of misconduct by the lead NYPD detective. That detective was previously removed from the case after allegations he coached a witness involved in another charge against Weinstein, a charge that has now been dropped. In an interview with WCBS 880, Weinstein attorney Benjamin Bradford said this client is, quote, somewhat dismayed by this development.
the upstairs, that one lane block, you're outbound, upstairs you got the three lanes closed across the East River, uh, you got the Queen's Pit Delta, the one two 